Hawks uh, going through our day three uh, run play installation. Uh, we're installing G or also known as buck sweep. Um, some of some of you may have heard of this play um, in college or NFL, may have ran it in middle school. Um, but uh, we're going to call it G, uh, just the letter G as it shows up here. Um, and uh, this is another pull play. Um, this is different than the other pull plays that we put in where uh, we only pull one guard. In this play, we pull both guards. Um, to We pull the front side, front side guard and the back side guard. This is one of the plays that will also that will always require an H or a tight end, a Y, an H or a Y, in order for us to run it. If you remember for power and counter, uh, I said you need to know if we are running it to a tight end or not. With G, that is not the case because we will always run it to uh, a three-man blocking surface. So there will always be an H or a Y um, on that side. So you know that we will always be kicking. The rule is we will always kick a six technique or wider, okay? Six technique or wider, that's the guy. And now the guy who's doing the kicking out is the front side guard. He's the one that's kicking out. And the backside guard is the one pulling up and through. Okay. Uh, another way that, that you might think about this is it's like we're running power or counter, but we're doing it with the both both of the guards instead of with a fullback and a guard. Okay. That's one way to think about it. We're running power or counter, but we're doing it with both guards instead of doing it with a fullback and a guard. Okay. So the front side guard always pulls every every time we run G, the front side guard always pulls. Okay, he's always pulling and kicking out. Okay. There are some times where the backside guard will not pull. And I will go over when that time is, but the front side guard always pulls. So what that means is that the play side tackle and the play side guard have to cover the gaps that the guard is vacating, okay? The play side B gap and the play side A gap, okay? They have to make sure that those gaps are covered. Now, with the backside guard also pulling, the center and the backside tackle have to cover the backside B gap and the backside A gap as well. So the center has a kind of a tall order and needs to make sure he knows uh, who he's blocking. He, he has to worry about the front side A gap first, always. Okay, we can't have any run through there. And then if he needs help, if there's two A gap threats, he will make a homer call for the backside guard to stay and not pull. He will make a homer call, so home, stay home, homer, um, and will tell the backside guard that he will block the backside A gap and the center will block the front side A gap. Okay, and we'll go over that in a little bit. Okay, uh, but I'll go right now, I'll go over the rules. So, first thing, as you can see here, this could be an H or a Y. Uh, his rule, since we are kicking out a six technique or wider, someone head up or outside shoulder of the H or the Y, the tight end. Uh, his rule is gap. If there's a five technique in his gap, he will down block him away from the play. If there's no one in his gap, he would then double with the tackle to the first backer inside, whoever that is. Okay, so gap, double, FBI. The backside tackle, his job is to wheel and seal to cover that B gap threat. If there's no B gap threat, he will then turn back for a C gap. Backside guard, he will pull. He will skip pull, stay square to the line of scrimmage, find the hole. First, as he is skip pulling, he's checking this front side A gap to see if there's any late blitz or triggering of the linebacker trying to sneak through here. If that, if the guard sees anyone trying to get through the A-gap um, as he's pulling around, he will block that person to not have any penetration. But as he gets by the front side A-gap, if there's no threat, he will continue um, running through the hole. So he will skip pull and then run to the hole and he will be looking inside for a linebacker scraping over the top. And if there's no linebacker, he would then continue on to the safety, okay? But he's skip pulling on the back side, looking for a gap threat, uh, front side a gap threat, and then working around looking for a linebacker in the hole. 
Now, if he receives a homer call from the center, he will then scoop the, the backside A gap. He will reach block anybody in the backside A gap, and the center will scoop block anybody in the front side A gap. Okay. So the center's rule is play side on backside. That's his progression. He first needs to worry about the play side A gap. If there's no one in the play side A gap, he will then go to head up. If there's no one head up, he will then down block the person on the backside. But then if there is, let me show you, the linebacker stepped up or if this center is worried about a linebacker stepping up and blitzing, he can make a homer call where he will then scoop or reach block the play side A gap and the backside guard will then uh, reach the backside A gap. Okay, so we make sure we get both of those gaps covered. Okay, uh, play side guard, he pulls and kicks out uh, six technique or wider. Okay, so in this case, it'd be seven, 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 this guy out here. So we'd pull and kick him out. Play side tackle, uh, his rule is gap. If there's someone in his gap, he will down block him. If there's no one down uh, in his gap, he will then block the person on him and double with the H or the Y. Uh, and then if there's no one in his gap or on him, then he will just go to the first backer inside, whoever that is. Okay. So same thing here. Same thing, running it to an H. Okay. Kicking out a six or a wider. Um, so kick him out. Uh, each and the tackle are doubling to the FBI, first backer inside. The center checks his play side gap. No one's there. Checks on him. There's someone there. He will scoop him, reach that guy. Backside guard, skip pulls, checks play side A gap. And then if there's no threat, he will continue up through the hole, looking inside for a linebacker. Backside tackle, wheels and seals. Okay, let me show it uh, to you with a, a homer call here. So as I said, if a linebacker steps up uh, and there's two A gap threats, the center will make a homer call and the guard will, the backside guard will stay and block the backside A gap threat. The center will block the front side A gap threat, and the play side guard always pulls. Okay. And now here's to a true tight end here. It's the same thing kick out a six or a wider. Okay. So he'd kick out the Y and the tackle are doubling to the first backer inside, scoop the play side A gap threat, um, backside guard skip pulls, and then we wheel and seal on the backside. If there's an H on the backside of the play, um, he is doing the touchdown block. He's going for the nearest safety and trying to block him and get in front of him because if we get it all blocked up up, up front, um, that's going to be the guy that might make the tackle, so we want to go and block this guy. We're not worried about this backside linebacker making the play. Now, if this backside linebacker crosses the H's face, the H would then block him, but if that guy stays outside, the H will just stay on his path and work up to try to get this touchdown block. Uh, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you some college film, uh, some film of this G play, the Buck Sweet play, um, and then I'll show you. Uh, we ran a play called Sweet Pole last year uh, against Henry uh, Two Rivers at the last game of the year, which is pretty much the same concept as this. It is G, and I'll show that as well. But I think this is a better viewpoint of what we're going to do. I'm just going to show one play here. Okay, as you can see, they're going to run uh, G to the left. So let's go through the, the rules. Okay, so uh, kick out the six or wider. So here's a tight end. So that'd be the seven technique here. This tight end is going, there's no one in his gap. There's no one on the tackle. So he's going to go all the way down to the linebacker. This tackle has a guy in his gap. So he's going to block down. Play side guard pulls and kicks out. Center, he checks his gap. No one's there. No one's on him, so he's going to down block the backside A gap. The backside guard is going to pull up and through the hole looking inside. Backside tackle will wheel and seal. Uh, backside H will uh, also wheel and seal as well. Okay. So we watch le left to right here. So he's going down. Okay. He took a little jab step to the outside to fake this guy out, and then he's going down to block. Okay. He'll block the, the first backer inside. Watch the tackle, tackle down blocks, guard pulls out, okay, and kicks out right there. I hope we do a little bit better job kicking out than he does. We'll watch the center. Center's going to down block here. Center down blocks. 
backside guard pulls. Okay. He sees that there's no kick out, so he gets outside. Okay. And we block it a little different where he would look inside. Okay. But, but that's, that's pretty much the play. Okay. Down block, down block, kick out, down block, lead up and through. Okay. But we're running power, but with both guards. Okay. Now I will show you us running it last year. Okay, we run it to the left here. It's kind of hard to see, but our H is down blocking. Our tackle is down blocking. A guard is kicking out. So if there's no one on the line, he's just going to keep working out and kick that guy out. Backside guard is going to pull for a linebacker. Our center is going to block back. Okay, as you can see, that should be a kick out there, I think. It's kind of hard to see from that viewpoint. Should be a little bit easier to see. So down block, down block. Okay, pull up and around, pull around, wheel and seal. Center's down blocking. Okay, pull both guards. We ran it a little bit differently this uh, last year, but just wanted you to get a, get a visual of pulling the guards. Looks like our backside guard didn't pull that time. Find another one here. Okay, here's one coming to us. A little bit easier to see. Okay, H blocks down. He pulls around. He pulls around. Okay, and we're trying to hit right off the, the guard pull. Okay. Right in the alley. So that is the G play. A uh, little bit more rules. Uh, make sure we know the rules for the play.